Hello, this is Brian again from ExcelDogs.com. I wanted to show you today our new organization chart template, which we think is pretty cool and easy. I wanted to start by showing you an end result. So this is an example uh, organization chart that I put in here. And um, just to show you what the format is like, you can see there's several levels here. You've got what we call an executive level, a manager level, an assistant manager level, and the gray boxes are staff. Um, the spreadsheet has three tabs. First is just a cover tab, and then the next two, the second tab is an input tab where all the data is entered, and then the output tab is where the report is generated. So I want to just show you, I'm going to go back to the input tab, and you can see what I've entered here. This is just a big spreadsheet with a whole bunch of boxes, and you can see the same colors here. So the way this works is you just enter a name and a position in these various boxes, and it appears on the, next, on the output tab as a complete organization chart. So you never have to draw a box, you never have to draw a line, you don't have to move things around. That's what's so cool about this template. It's all done for you. So you can see what I generated on the output tab. I did that by entering Mary up in the green box and then I have three managers here. And then I have a few staff people shown here and if you scroll down a ways you start to get into these assistant manager boxes. So you can see I entered Paul and then Jason and Tammy work for Paul, etc. So what I want to do very quickly is just clear out these boxes that I entered this data in and then just show you how this looks real time as we generate an organization chart. Um, just quickly taking those out of there. Going down to where I entered additional information down here. <clears throat> and this, by the way, is how you would start over just by clearing out these cells. Um, obviously, with an Excel template, it's easy to do as well as um, just copy this, copy and paste it. So, I would recommend if you get the template that you start with a blank one and just keep that blank, of course. So, after clearing those out, if I go back to the output tab, you can see there's nothing here. Um, and if I go back to the input tab, as I start to enter things, so example, if I put Brian, uh, vice president up here, that will show up on the org chart with no, nobody below him right now, of course. So as I continue to enter names um, in these different boxes, They will keep appearing on the output tab, and as I enter more managers, for example, oops, um, it will reorganize where those show on the attached page so that it kind of makes sense. See what I mean? So it just keeps adding those. So the easy part of this template, again, is that you don't have to worry about boxes. It's all done with formatting and just um, based on where you enter data. It automatically does it for you. You can also enter up here the chart title. And there's a few instructions here. First row of these boxes, of course, is a name, and the second is a position. And just kind of a warning over here, never delete rows or columns. Instead, clear the contents like I did when I cleared out the data. So if you have any questions, give us a call. But that's the quick overview. So thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.